Feel how your heart's beating fast? Very. You see that? That, that, that? that has a lot to do with the power of God. I feel like there's something, I, I heard ask about the mother. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, What's, the mother's really sick right now. She is? But like, do you like do anything with like kids or like do you have like a passion for kids or like oh do you like God, to do I'm anything really with you? Yo, that was a whole demon, bro. She walked by like this, she went. Yo. Oh, God. Yo, I hit the music. There's somebody hiding behind the pole. Yo, who's behind that pole? <laughs> ah, look, boy, got him, got him, got him. <laughs> there he is. There he is. King's Ice. Brother, I, look, we down here at Daytona Beach, as usual, when we need to just go and give you guys some good Holy Ghost vlog content, we come right down here to the uh, boardwalk in Daytona Beach and we see what Jesus wants to do. Now listen, I think we're at the end of spring break right now at the recording of this and you can see people everywhere, young people everywhere. So Harvest Field is uh, looking pretty right. Labor's not for you tonight because we're here to put out any fires that need a good fight. <laughs> Just playing, just playing, guys. We were actually the fire starters, actually. So we're gonna start some fires, and we're gonna let them spread all over the world. Amen. So uh, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and share, cause you care. And we're gonna go out here and tell people about Jesus. So let's see what happens. Just wait. Before we play, we gotta pray. Father, I thank you right now for tonight. We know that your angels have gone ahead of us and prepared the way. So Lord, we just pray that you'll give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Let us be able to encounter those that need to be encountered, which is everybody. But Lord, we want that one person that can affect the whole place and can change the world, you know, for your sake. So Lord Jesus Christ, we love you. We yield ourselves to you. We ask you to utilize us in any way that you want. So Lord, souls are the goal. And let us win many of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. May there be miracles, may there be signs, may there be wonders. You can't care what the people think. Hey, can I? Can we ask you guys a question? What's up, sir? Is that cool? Yeah. Y'all cool with being interviewed? Yeah. You sure? All right, all right, listen. So, if the world... Now look, the eight, what is it, April 9th? April 8th. There's some people saying April 8th or April 9th, I think it's April 8th, that the world may change or some crazy stuff might happen. Let's say something does crazy pop off. Let's say everything goes poof. What will happen to you? Will it be the end? Yeah. You don't think there's nothing else after this? No. Well, yeah, like an afterlife. Oh, an afterlife. Yeah. yeah. Might be an afterlife. <laughs> might be. <laughs> might be. So there's a might be there. Yeah. So there's no, like, security in knowing if there's an afterlife. I think there is. Why do you think there is? I mean... <laughs> um, I know y'all like, what did we just walk into? No, no, seriously. Though. I don't... I mean... I don't know why, but like I do think there is. Yeah. Yeah. What gives you hope that there's an afterlife? Jesus, God. Okay. So you guys do believe in Jesus, yeah. right? Yeah. So He's the hope of an afterlife. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good because we believe too. But I like to start out the question like that because some people don't know. Some people don't have hope after this. They're like, oh, I'm going to the ground and becoming worm food, right? So if I said, how how would you be in your heart secure knowing that if the world ended or stuff just stopped, right? that you would be with Jesus after this. What's the way to that? Do you know? Praying. I mean, just... I think you gotta just believe. Yeah, just believe and just stay believe. stay connected with them as much as you can. So, putting faith in Him. Yeah. And believing what you can't really see. They call it, uh, blessed to those who believe without seeing. Right? Ah, you guys are deep. You guys know. That's good. So that means you guys are saved. Okay, so second part. Do you know that this realm is temporary, right? So if this realm is temporary, there has to be a realm outside of this one that we're looking forward to. The Bible actually tells us that we're seated in heavenly places right now with Christ Jesus. So did you guys know that you can actually experience that supernatural realm even right now while we're in this place? I didn't know that. Did not know that. You didn't know that? Do you know how you, how you do that? Okay, so first part is believing. Second part is, well, it's all faith, right? But believing in Jesus and then understanding his word. So you said praying. So praying means that you're getting in a relationship with God, which gives you a key. He says, I give you the keys to the kingdom, right? So you have keys that will unlock access to the kingdom of God. For example, if somebody's sick, if you pray for them, they'll be healed. If somebody is being oppressed by something demonic, do you guys believe in demons? Well, if you believe in God, you got to believe there's yeah. a devil, right? Yeah. So if you believe in the kingdom of light, there's a kingdom of darkness. So there's a kingdom of darkness that's working against us, right? There's the devil's people and there's God's people. 
So, with that being said, if Satan's kingdom can manifest through dark things, through depression, through anxiety, through fear, through all that stuff, then there's got to be a way that we can tangibly experience God, God's kingdom too. Love, joy, peace, all that stuff, right? Being able to have self-control, not going into addictions and stuff like that, you know? So knowing that, you can also, you ever had the goosebumps before? You've been in worship, you felt those tingles? Yeah. Or you've been praying, you feel the tingles? So that's a sign that angels are around. So when, when, when you start praying, that means angels are actually around you and they're bringing the, the presence of heaven with them. And those little goosebumps you feel is the tangible presence of angels around. Did you know that? Yeah, so that's aff affirmation and confirmation. Some people call them the Holy Ghost bumps, you know? So that shows you that you're actually experiencing another realm that you can't see. You ever walk to a place and you're like, yo, I feel like I've been here before? Yeah. yeah. Some people call that deja vu. Do you know that really means that your spirit has already went ahead of you? Like in the spirit, there's no time and, pl and space. So like you're already been there, but you've caught up. So you've caught up to some place that your spirit has already seen and been. Does that make sense? Yeah. So Jesus is seated outside of this realm. That's how he was able, remember after he was crucified, he was able to appear to the disciples and disappear again. He was able to step in and out of this reality. So it's the same thing when we're attached to him by the Holy Spirit. He's already ahead of us. That's why he's able to know things before they come and able to stop things, you know. But with all this being said and giving you guys all this wisdom, the reason I'm talking about the supernatural realm is that we can ask God if you want to, for him to make that realm tangible right now if we ask it in his name this is what usually happens is for you guys right here depending on how strong your wills are if you have a strong will then it probably will be a little tough for you but if you're open and trusting god will come in and he'll do something awesome you know so are y'all dealing with anything like anxiety wise fear depression not right now you've had you have peace yep. if god wanted to reveal himself in a way by the holy spirit would you allow him to yeah. so we could pray together so let's do this then. Let's pray in the name of Jesus and see what happens. And just see. And y'all be totally honest with me. There ain't nothing to be scared about. It's not a religious prayer either. It's literally saying, hey, God, reveal yourself. You want to try it? it we don't have to. It's, it's up to y'all guys. You want to try it? Let's see. Simple prayer, guys. All right? So let's pray. Watch. I'll just say a prayer. So, Father, I thank you for these young men right here who love you. Lord Jesus Christ, for your glory. Let's all say this, actually. Say, Lord Jesus. Jesus. We are submitted to you. We ask you to reveal yourself by your presence, which produces your power. So we ask you if we can feel your power now. In Jesus' name. Watch. Father, I thank you for these men. I ask you to touch them now. In Jesus' name. More. Is anybody experiencing anything? I mean, I'm not really sure. <laughs> like, you feel a little rocky, right? Kind of. Like, You're, like, 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 like yeah. yeah, a little watt rocky. That's usually his power starting to come up on you. You know what I mean? You want, can, can I do something really fast? Lord, I pray right now, show him. Reveal your presence. Reveal your power. In Jesus' name. Feel how your heart's beating fast? Very. You see that? That, 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 that has a lot to do with the power of God. Watch. Lord, I pray that you turn it up now. Look, that's crazy, bro. My sister. Watch. Lord, I pray you turn it up now. I pray more. More. And I feel like the Lord is telling me to, to pray against any fear. I pray right now every fear that he's been experiencing to be removed from his body. In Jesus' name. Every demonic attack that's came against him, I break it now. And Lord, I thank you that you're going to use him mightily. All that heaviness, anything that's been laying on him, I command it to come up and off of his body now. In Jesus' name. Be loosed from everything. Uh-huh. In the mighty name of Jesus. See, I can tell something's going on as I'm praying. What about now? More relaxed. More relaxed? Like peace, right? Yeah. Yeah, so the Lord is the Prince of Peace. So that's one of the signs that he's around is when we have peace, when we have a sound mind, you know? When we don't have anxiety and stress and stuff like that. But the beautiful thing is you guys got him as your Lord and Savior. All you have to do is ask him for more. There's so much more, man. Why do all these witches and all these warlocks get to do all these spells and all this stuff and then Christians got to be born, right? So if like you have sick people walking around, you can pray for them. If they have bad knees, bad hips or anything, you can pray for them. They experience the kingdom of God and then you lead them to Jesus through the gospel, you know? You tell them why they died for him. They died for the sins of the world, you know? You can have a relationship with him through his death, burial, and resurrection on the cross of Calvary. So you guys understand that though, right? 
All right. I don't want to hold you guys up, but thanks for letting me pray for you guys, man. Is there anything else, though? No, sir. Did y'all want prayer for family, anything like that? All's good? Yeah. Yeah? All right, man. Thanks for letting me pray for you guys. The YouTube channel that we have is called The Supernatural Life. It's about to hit a mill. It's at like 9.98 right now. Yes, make sure to subscribe. Yeah. Amen. I'll Amen. Yes. God bless you guys. You see you around. Right. Oh, see you guys. Yeah. Good talking to you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. You too. So so one of the things, right, is 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 our will. You know, our will is very strong sometimes. And that's how that's one of the things you can like if you want to do like a test on a on a person to see where they're at, is you, you start praying in a group right there and you ask the Holy Spirit to touch them. And the one that is really open and ready to receive, the Holy Spirit will always like highlight that person. Or an angel will come up from the presence of the Lord and start, you know, activating something or causing something to happen. So that's why I do this stuff when I'm out, because <laughs> you want you want some prayer, girl? No? You don't want none of that? All right. Yo, total. Yo, that was a total manifestation. Look, look, look. Look, look. What does she do right, right here? Here, I'm gonna be her. Okay, this this is what she. Yo, did. that was a whole demon, bro. She walked by like this. She went. Yo, what was that, bro? Then, Who does that, bro? Out like this, she was like, that. and then literally he was like, "You want prayer?" She was like, "Like that." Like shaking her head. That was so <laughs> spiritual just now. I seen her walk, and I seen her come around. She really, she like, literally, like, went, like she stuck her tongue out. She was like, like, like who does that? Yo, that's how you know. Ah, that's how you know the spiritual realm knows what's going on, man. But anyway. It's all about whose will is ready. You know, we, we, our will should be God's will. And we, we can test a person's heart by asking the Holy Spirit to touch them. And then obviously, you know, we're some, some sow, some water, God gets the harvest. So we're like chiseling people's hearts, you know, when we're out here fishing and stuff. But man, it's wild out here. But God is good. God is good. So that was wild. <laughs> What is the supernatural power of God? The Holy Spirit. Yes, yeah. I've the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit produces the Holy. Yeah, produces I'm Catholic. The power. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I love Jesus. Awesome. Yeah, I'm Catholic, so yeah, I believe. No, I love Jesus. Okay, y'all know each other? Yeah, all we're all friends. Oh, y'all yeah, friends? Yeah. yeah we're okay. from Kentucky. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we do it all, man. I mean, if people need healing, we pray for them to be healed. If they need deliverance from something demonic that's tormenting them, yeah. we pray for the demonic. You, in Catholics, call it exorcism. Yeah. Um, prophecy, prophetic words, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah. That's what we do here in the heart of God for people. Sweet. So yeah, I don't know I if you guys need just... anything. Not that I can think of right now. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, pray that her belt bag was found. Yeah. Did uh, you find it? it? Yes, she did. Okay. Oh, then. okay. Jesus helped us yes. there. We're already <laughs> good. good. Yeah. yeah. So, so question though. So, you know, God will start to speak to our hearts, right? Mm -hmm. When I was standing here, I felt like I heard in my heart, right? So you tell me if I'm right. I was looking at you two. I feel like there's something I, I heard ask about the mother. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Yeah, well, our mother's really sick right now. She is. Yeah. I felt like felt like I heard in my heart for God to ask you guys about your mom, see how your mom was doing. Yeah. So that shows that God is watching your mom. So this is what I believe. The only reason God would show me that in my heart is if He wants to heal her. So I believe we can come into agreement in prayer right now, yeah. and the Lord will send an angel to touch your mom and heal her. What's her name? Sherry. Sherry. Yeah. Can we pray? Can yeah, I show you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Father, I thank you for Sherry. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I ask you, Lord, to send an angel to touch her now and to heal her body. And I'm also feeling something with the heart. I pray, Lord, that you will go ahead and just touch her heart and restore any area that's broken in her heart. Lord, I feel like this woman has been a woman who has been doing so much for so many years. She has such a kind, caring heart. So, Lord, I pray right now that you would just heal her, remove any burdens, and bring strength back into her body. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Does that yeah. bear witness? It makes sense? Yeah. yeah, it does. All right. You guys are believers, right? Yes, we are. Y'all are? Yeah. Are you Christians? Yes, we're Christian. We're okay. Baptists. Oh, you're Baptist? Southern Baptist. Amen. Oh, Southern Baptist. Yeah, Southern Baptist. Okay, okay. I grew up Baptist. And then I had an encounter as a cage fighter. So I was a cage fighter. I encountered the presence of God. And he made me what I call Bapticostal. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's kind of like the Holy Spirit came on me. I had a big experience with him. Yeah. And it changed my life completely. Yeah. You guys need personal prayer or are you good? Good. You yeah. good? Thank okay. you. Okay. God bless you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. May the Lord use you more and more. Yeah. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Yep. A little word of knowledge. Dropped in. Asked about mama. Mama was sick. 
you know? It's the small things that lead to big things, you know? So yeah, <laughs> what, what would you like prayer for? My mom's really sick. Your mom too? Yeah. Oh wow, what's yeah. wrong with her? She's, um, she's in the hospital a lot. And um, I'm trying not to like say too much without saying yeah, too yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. you, I got you. So we, we can pray. Um, all right, so let me backtrack a little bit because I okay. want to pray specifically for your mom because I believe the Lord will heal her. Okay. You don't have to give me all her business. But the reason I think I said addiction is because addiction doesn't necessarily mean drugs. You know what I mean? There could be other things that she could be doing that could be affecting her body, yeah. like what she intakes and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you said kidney stones too. Yeah. You know, so there could be other stuff going on. So when I say that word, some people will go, oh, immediately over here. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what's going on on the outside, right? What she's yeah. bringing in and stuff. But I can pray that the Lord bring peace to her heart and restore her whole body. I believe he'll give her that miracle. And listen, when she says, man, talking, what's your name? I'm Kara. And she says, Kara, I noticed I've been feeling a lot better. And the only thing you need to do is say, hey, we prayed for you and Jesus touched you and we healed you. And now he's letting you know he loves you. You don't have to suffer. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you'll do that much, right? Yeah. Take my hand. Father, I thank you for Kara. I thank you for her mother. I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that you will touch her with your power. And I pray every bit of sickness to come up and out of her. All the problems with her kidneys, I command them to be made whole. And I command right now any fear that Kara has been having, any anxiety, any worry, any stress that she's been having for her mother, I pray that it will be removed from her shoulders, that she'll know that she, you're not gonna let her mother leave this earth earlier than what she needs to. And she's gonna see the miracle that she's been hoping for. So I bless Kara and I bless her mother in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I want to cry. Can I give you a hug? Sure, sure. God bless. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I, I have a, I have yeah, a yeah. quick question. Yeah. If it's okay, I have a quick question. Do you like, I don't know if like if you're going to school at all or like, or, like, like if you're doing anything, but like do you like do anything with like kids or like do you have like a passion for kids or like, oh my God, like to do I'm anything with you? You want to be a pediatrician? Okay. So I saw you, and I saw you, like, it was almost like, like, I had a vision as he was praying for you. I felt like, like, like the Lord was showing me of you, like, going out into, like, mission fields, like, tending to, like, That's kids. That's crazy, because you know my counselor um, told me about a oh, the job. mission trip to Canada? No, um, it was a job that she knew about, and it was, like, you, you're, like, you're a doctor, but you're also, like, a missionary, so you go to, like, Africa and everything. I mean... And so, like, I'm in school for PT right now, but, like, she, like, that's been on my mind, like, heavy on my mind. That's crazy. Yeah, I just, I really, I really felt, like, in the vision that I had, like, it was just the Lord showing me this. It was kind of like a movie playing in my head almost of, like, I saw you, like, tending to, like, these kids, almost like orphans in a sense. It's like you were in, like, third world countries. Yeah. And you were, like, sharing, like, you were, like, tending to them and, like, teaching them, but you were also sharing the gospel with them. Yeah. So I really think that the Lord wants you to, like, use that passion that you have for, like, health and children, but, like, put him at the forefront of that. And I really feel that you have a missionary call in your life as well wow, uh, to do that crazy. stuff with kids. So, yeah, yeah I really feel... Um, I get to do, I have the honor to do some stuff with kids, so like, I really wanted to share that with you, because I want to encourage you to, like, you know, pour into the next generation and stuff, because yeah. I think that that's super important to do. That's so. also wild, because I was at CrossCon in January, mm -hmm. and they had, like, a mission thing, and, like, where if you, like, stood up, you went to this, like, lecture class type thing, yeah. and I was one of the, like, hundred that stood up out of the 15,000 that was there, so, wow. yeah, that's so crazy. So you said yes, you chose to say yes to go to the nation. Yeah. Thing. And the Lord's going to do it. In wow, Jesus name. that's crazy. That's awesome. It'll be even bigger, yeah. too, because you have the gift of healing on your life. Yes. <gasps> so yeah. You'll wow. be able to bring that supernatural aspect to him, too. Awesome. Yeah. Oh, my God, really that's cool. so cool. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you got blessed. <laughs> yeah. See, that's what happens, though. When you come like to something like this, the Lord will bless you above and beyond what you thought. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like that's when people, when Jesus was walking around, right? Yeah. He would just walk up. People would just walk up to him and ask him for stuff. And that's what we're supposed to do is the same thing. Bring hope. Yeah. That's Thank what we you do. Guys. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Of course. So I know you guys might not understand it, but I saw it earlier. I'm glad you came back. You, you, you're probably going to have to look up, be studious, meaning you're going to probably have to go and get a little bit of understanding on this. I believe on your family. I don't know if you've ever heard this before. You know what it means to have a prophetic call? Kind of. So that, I don't, so creativity, um, it, big imagination, dreams stuff like that, I believe that that's on your life. And what God will do is he will take that, he will utilize it to, to, to give you information about other people. 
So you know how he looked at her and he was seeing things about her, how we were revealing, oh, she wants to go do this and gift of healing. That's something strong that I believe is on you and I also believe it's on your family. So I believe the Lord will activate that in your guys' life so that you can start something amazing in your generations. It's crazy, I actually wanted to start a project for like younger people and um, oh, yeah, we've it's kind of goofy, <laughs> but the entire purpose of it is like kind of take, what is it, take the guilt and bring the grace back in because we were saved by grace and yeah. I feel like a lot of like younger kids in our generation like they stray away from Christianity because yep. they think oh no I'm too bad or I've done this and they also just don't have a group of Christians our age it's always older people kind of speaking down onto us so it's like they don't understand the like love of God so you do have the creative aspect to you <laughs> so the Lord has put an organization on your heart then right yeah all I'll say is don't figure out how you're gonna do it just start it <laughs> Because that takes faith, right? Yeah, it does. So if God's told you to do something, do it. And watch and bless it. But you're right, this generation, what y'all's age group is what? Like 18, yeah. 19, yeah. 18s and yeah. 20s and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, so y'all's y'all's group, what are y'all dealing with a lot? Suicide. Yep. Identity issues big time so, because of what the world's giving out, you know? Yeah. So yeah. you guys can change that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. It's awesome. awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. The Supernatural Life on YouTube. Yeah. I'll subscribe. Hey, appreciate <laughs> it. How many subscribers you got? I'm all, I'm 2,000 from a million. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that play button. Yes, the gold one. <laughs> See you. Okay. And I wanted to do a general prayer for you, man. I, I saw you on the chair. And I believe in the power of God, man. I believe the Lord can, right, cool. can touch you. It. Yeah. All right. Yeah, what's your name? My name is Steven. Steven. I'm Mark. What's your name? Jake. Jake and... Monica. Monica? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so are you guys from, are born and raised here? Yeah, pretty much. I'm originally, I'm actually here on vacation from New Jersey. Wow, New Jersey. How long? Yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah. how long are you out here for? I'm uh, I'm staying in uh, Daytona till Saturday, and then I'm off to Miami for like another week. Nice. So I'm going back to Jersey on the 17th to be exact. Okay, definitely, definitely, man. Yeah. Awesome. So back from Miami too. Yeah, yeah come nice, on, man. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. yeah. So y'all just here, just enjoying, having a good time. Awesome, man. That's awesome. So I want to ask you. Uh, so how did you? How did this happen right here? Oh, uh, I got into an accident okay. about like 15 years ago when wow. I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It's just a bad car accident. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I want to ask you, after that car accident, um, do you feel like, you know, obviously a lot changed in your life, a lot yeah, of, of transitioning, course, of course. right? Um, do you feel like uh, there's been a lot of mental pressure ever since that incident? Yeah, of that course, there's been a lot of pressure just in yeah. general. Suicidal yeah. thoughts at times? I, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't go that far. No, no? No. Okay. But just, you know, yeah. just like, you know, everybody got problems. You know? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Everybody deals Definitely. with them different, so yeah. I'm just like... Doing me. Yeah, right. yeah, Stand for sure. By. Definitely. Well, I'm going to pray for you, man. I want to pray a general prayer for you. And I believe the power of God can touch you. Uh, the Bible says lay hand on the sick and they'll be healed. Um, I believe that the Lord can supernaturally uh, operate in your body, man. And I'm believing that one day you will. You will walk. You will, you will come out of that. I know it sounds a little crazy, but, I mean, outside of this realm, there's a reality that's more real than here. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we all know that when we die, we're going somewhere, right? And that, that's heaven and hell, right? And uh, there's no greater power than Jesus. So, Amen. Uh, and you're a believer, right? Yes. Awesome. Yes. So let me pray for you. All right, cool. all right. So, Father, I thank you for your son, Lord. I just pray right now. Man, Holy Spirit, I pray your Holy Spirit power to fill him right now. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I command every bone, every ligament, every spine every cartilage, new tendons. I command a supernatural miracle to begin to take place in your body right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I speak after today, you will have full mobility. Supernaturally, Father God, he will, he will even understand what's happening, Father. So I just pray brand new legs, brand new back in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Now let me ask you something. As I was praying, was you feeling something? Was you experiencing something? I mean, yeah. Yeah. What a was little, your experience? Just like, um, how can I say it? Just like a little more faith, I guess you could say. Yeah. 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 Do you feel like you've been in a season where your faith has just been really tried in a sense? Yeah. It's, it, yeah. it's up and down, man. Yeah, I yeah, can't yeah. say like all year, I'm like, you know, but yeah. 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 feel a little more better now, to be honest with you. Come on, man. And that's awesome. I, I believe there was some heaviness, man. You were also carrying some, yeah, some yeah, things, yeah. man. And For sure, man. A yeah. lot. 
for sure. Come on, man. Well, thank you for giving me the opportunity hey, man, to play. I appreciate play. it, man. Thank Amen, you very man. much, man. Yeah, we actually have a Supernatural Life page. I'm on YouTube. Uh, okay. We almost at a mill, man, and we this is what we do. We go out in the streets. We preach about Jesus and, All right, cool. and everything. Let me, um, let me yeah. get you yeah, for sure. Can I, can I pray for you, too, as well? Yeah, sure. You're open for that? What's your name? Jacob. Jacob, do you have any specific prayer requests that you that you want me to pray for? Uh, uh, stress, stress, stress free. Yeah, you've been you've been feeling a little heavy all the time. No yeah. idea. Yep. Wow, wow, wow. Let me ask you something. Uh, did you grow up just with a lot of issues with father? Just growing up. Uh, not a bad father, but well, it's a tough relationship. It's been tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna get into it. No, no, you don't have to. You don't have to. But um, sometimes, a lot of the times when we're praying for people, the Lord kind of opened up the eye, our eyes to see in the spirit. So the Lord began to show me these things because He care about that matter, that issue. He was there in those areas where you were going through a lot, man, a lot of verbal, a lot of things I'm seeing. But um, the Lord says He wants to heal that and He wants to restore your heart. And He wants you to release the pain and the anger from the rest of this. He wants to give you a new heart because a lot of that is really causing a lot of the stagnation in your life. Just that built in, just so much, man. And it's weighing on you, as you can see. So the Lord wants, the Bible says this, all who are weary and burdened, come to him and he'll give you rest. And God wants to give you rest to your soul, man. I can tell your soul has been grieved. So we're going to pray right now that the Lord will encounter you right now. And he, he, he gives you peace. You ready? Yeah. All right. And what's your name again? Jacob. Jacob, okay. Father, I thank you for Jacob. Lord, I just pray you honor his act of humility right now to receive prayer. Right now, I command everything that the enemy has been using against you to cause stress, sabotage, and even this heaviness. Right now, by the power and authority of Jesus, I command this unclean thing to come off of you now. Be free. Yeah, lift off of him. All the way. There it is. There it is. Off. All the way. All the stress. All the burdens. Every infliction in your mind. I command it to go. I'm just going to place my hand right on your head. Be free in Jesus' name. I break off all stagnation, all poverty, all, all everything, even limitation in your life, man. And pray, I pray right now, Lord, you give him a new heart. You heal his heart from his yesterday, Father God. And I even pray, Lord, you rekindle the relationship from the past, Father. I thank you for what you're doing in this life in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, bro. Hug me. How you feel? I feel good. Okay. Need of that? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, bro. I know it can be hard sometimes, bro. Like, just sometimes we can get into a place, man. Like, people really. I don't think people understand what I'm going through. People understand really what's happening on the inside of me. Believe it or not, people may not know, but Jesus knows. Man. He's been there with you through it all. Amen. And um, I want you to know you're, you're stepping into a season of increase. I'm speaking that over your life. That every door of opportunity, uh, everything that you touch that fell to the ground, everything is being is going to manifest in your life, man. And I don't know. This is very, very strange. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot for it. Do what do you do for a living? Do you do anything like in the construction and stuff? And um, yeah, I'm, currently, yeah. I'm currently in the military right now. In but military. But you do this on the, you, you were working this at, at, at yeah. just to make money, make ends meet. Which one, military construction? Construction. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm seeing there's a there's a blessing there that God has placed inside of you. And I'm seeing favor. Today, the Lord has unlocked favor in you. After today, man, I'm seeing just... Your finances, everything is, is going to work out for its good in this area. God is going to bless you. He's going to give you favor with man. You're going to have that business, that contract, man. So listen, this is a call to repentance, right? This, this encounter is a call to repentance, to come back to Jesus. He wants that intimate relationship with you, right? So this is not just like a stop, I want prayer type of thing. This is God it, using us as a vessel to say, hey, I'm here. I'm, in, I want, I'm here for you. I see you. And I love you. So this is a I love you encounter that Jesus is having with you. So go back to your first love, man. And I believe everything is going to change for, for the good, man. Awesome, man. I want to keep you holding up. God bless you, man. Jacob, right? Yeah, Mark. So you guys just saw Mark ministering to that guy in the wheelchair. 
and that family. Look, I wasn't yeah. even right there. I was doing something else. But it must have been a deep encounter. Yeah. So, Mark, just to do a little teaching on here. Yeah. Is it, I've noticed with you too, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's easy for you just to go up to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is it so easy? Well, what makes it easy for me, and it's many ways, I'm, many people have uh, different opinions, but for me, I try to get myself out of the way. Um, I think a lot of the times we get so bombarded throughout the day with our issues and all, and all of our things, and we kind of cope with other people with what we're going through. Mm. So I try to try to quiet my mind, and I, I go to the Lord, right? Not no, no, no new age, right? But I go to the Lord, and I, I just ask the Lord, Lord, give me a sound mind. Lord, uh, let it be your will, not my will. I, I remove all motives and agendas. Uh, reveal the hearts of man to me so that people may, so that people may glorify you. And, and I go in that mindset, and it's just amazing uh, as you move in faith and you, you just speak in faith. And you just walk out and let whatever comes out of yeah, your mouth come and, out. But here's the biggest thing. Like, I, I've learned to be confident with my, own, my personality. Allow God to work through my personality. Mm, exactly. And you're already doing it every day. We talk every day. And I think sometimes we overdo it. Like, we, in a sense, just be yourself. Have, you know, have a genuine conversation with someone. And, and just be genuine, you know, don't don't go to seek like, you know, a lot of time people get so like uh, people can feel when something is genuine, you're trying to get something out of them. Yeah, I true. genuinely go the route of just like the social, right? Like, hey, man, I, you know, I think that, that, that that's a little bit easier. So, so I'm going to hit Mark with something heavy. You pray for the dude in the wheelchair, you pray for him to be healed. So if you just healer, then why didn't your God heal him? Uh, well, if you um, have supernatural power, why didn't it work on him? Well, I, 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 this is this is my opinion to that. Look, I get hit with this all the time. Yeah, I'm yeah, just hitting yeah. you with. I want to yeah, see your Yeah, for sure, spot. for sure. Well, in, in it all, I'm, we're not in control of what God would do in the now, right? Like, there's some healings that happen instantly. There's miracles that happen instantly. There's miracles that happen gradually. Um, do you have faith to believe that 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 he didn't have legs, did he? Yeah, he had legs. legs that yeah. do you did you have faith to know that he could get out? Did you um, yeah, believe I that? believe that. I believe that. Yeah. Did you have any doubt? No, no doubt. You just believed no. it. I just believed it. To be honest, I just shoot for it, and yeah, and it's like a dice, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but here, but here's the thing. Yeah, like we do what God has told us to do. So He says, "Lay hands on the sick, and they'll recover." Yeah. The results are up to Him. Yeah. But he wants to see, are we going to be faithful no matter what? Mm. So we do what the Bible tells us to do. That's good. And the results are on him because we're not results driven, we're love driven. And love covers a multitude of sins. Perfect love casts out fear. We believe if we continue to come out here in the harvest field, eventually we'll even see that right there. You'll, we'll see some huge moments happen. And uh, we'll see the greater. Yeah. We'll see the greater faithfulness. Faithful in the little, yeah. you can be faithful with much. Come on. Amen. That's really good. Is that a good answer? Yeah, that's really, it's perfectly said. Yeah. You kind of got me, I'm like, hold on, wait, oh, wait, Lord, let me. You know, but it's, it's true, you know, though, it's true. Saying, hey, people know? are going to hit you with that. You know, some of y'all watching this video, I know y'all be lurking. Yeah. Y'all be thinking, well, I need, I need, I need, I need. Right, that's right, how, right. that's what they talk like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, we, but here's again, the thing, we, again. yeah, this is what I read in the comments section when I see people like, why don't you go to the children's hospital? And then it's why don't you go to the Alzheimer's home? And, you know, I'm like, I'm like, are you doing anything? Are you even being a solution? You don't even try. Yeah. You know, that's my mindset. So yeah. when I hear these people, I'm hearing, bah, 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 you know, like the Charlie Brown right, exactly. teacher stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because they're yeah. not doing anything. Yeah. Like you're mocking. Go be a change. Go yeah. help the world the way God has shown you to help the world. Amen. You know? So that's the way it, that's the way it be in Jesus' name. Jesus. But I, I mean, we, we, there's some fruitful stuff out here. Yeah. I knew that the Lord kind of unctioned me to come out tonight. Um, I love it. Especially all these young people down here. And this summer it's going to be even crazier. So we're going to have a lot of uh, fun here in the Daytona, Ormond, Sanford, Orlando, Jacksonville, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, wherever. What do you need? Tampa, West Palm, Fort Myers, Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Fort Keys. the Keys. We should go to the Keys. St. Pete Beach. He, see, Keeks just wants to go to the beach. Like, he just put it in a whole other perspective. Right but anyway, we're going to have a lot of fun in Florida this summer. So I'm super excited. But thank you guys. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys.
This is Daniel Adams of The Supernatural Life. Tuning out. We will see you next time.